we'll begin with our discussions on the business drivers of retail uh, retail stores and retail industry and you know how does this business work so if you think about a retail store the image that would come to your mind let's say of a firm like a dmart kind of an entity uh, the firm would have retail stores these retail stores would basically have a size as an element the size usually is kind of given in terms of uh, square feet that's available then of course there will be some sort of footfalls into the into the store that would happen and some of these footfalls would convert or conversion of footfalls into clients who would basically you know customers who would basically buy the product from there so if you think about uh, the way a retail store could grow is it could grow the size it could grow the footfalls it could grow the conversion or it could grow basically you know wallet share either wallet share of purchase or you know ticket size per purchase so those are the broad levers that exist with any retail company with respect to how do you go about uh evaluating you know whether they are growing or not growing and you know what is it that they need to do in order to grow so either you sort of add stores or you sort of uh, you know increase uh, increase billing or bills that are being cut in the store so bills cut is a common terminology that is used which is you know what are the uh what are the bills that are being cut in a particular store so that's one terminology that is there uh you could increase uh, average transaction size right so these are primarily the the levers which are there and eventually what this boils down is into a couple of metrics like either you are evaluating the firm on something like a revenue per square foot right so you're looking at okay what is going to be the revenue of the company on a square foot basis is it growing is it not growing and then of course you look at something like uh, you know something known as same store sales uh, growth or stores that have been operational for a while you want to see that you know that particular store what has been the growth year on year so that's basically a key metric with respect to how do you analyze a retail store as such and how do you look at the revenue drivers of a particular retail company now let's look at the same data on our excel file you have an excel file here which has an assumption sheet built in and if you look at this in a little bit more detail you'll find that you know it has uh, details with respect to uh, uh, the number of stores you have uh, new stores added and if you look at uh, the new stores added that's basically a contour of uh, you know uh, uh, with respect to the new stores added what kind of uh, you know uh, annual addition in stores has happened every year area in overall square foot is also available right so what is the total area in million square feet which is available based on this you can find out how much has been the area added every year so 7.8 million square feet minus 5.9 will give me 1.9 uh, million square feet uh, the company actually gives on its website uh, a detail of the bills cut in crores so this is the overall set of bills that are cut uh, by the company uh, in a given year and then there is a revenue number that is available with us now we could use these numbers to basically arrive at some sense of you know data points that would be relevant for us in order to evaluate the company a little bit more right so let's take them one by one let's begin with the first one which is let's say bills cut per store right and i want to find this out in terms of numbers right remember there are 8.5 crore bills cut so i can multiply this with 10 raised to 7 to convert it to numbers and then divide by 110 so you will see that in 2016 the firm had about 7 lakh 72000 bills cut per store on average and that number increased to 9.39 lakhs by 2020 so every store on average was getting more conversions more bills were getting cut right i can calculate the growth rate over these uh, periods and that's my growth rate right it continuously increased for a 3 th year period before declining a bit in 2020 then you could look at calculating what is the area per store so not only could you increase your number of stores you could also increase the size of the store 
on average. So if you're able to increase the size of the store on average, what impact does that have? Let's see if the size has increased in the first place. Remember size is given in million square feet. So I'm gonna convert this to square feet. So 10 raised to power six is what I multiply with and divide by the number of stores. So this is in square feet, right? And I can look at this. So you'll see that on an ongoing basis, the firm has actually increased the average area per store, which means the additional stores which are coming in are bigger and bigger stores over this period. So the concept being that, you know, make bigger stores, add more stores. And then of course, that is going to allow you to cut more bills in the, in the contour of this. So what has been the growth in area per store on average? I can again calculate the growth rate and put it here. Now we can put it uh, in terms of details with respect to, you know, what is the revenue per store? So these are straightforward calculations. So revenue divided by number of stores. I can calculate what is revenue per square feet. Now here, remember there is a small conversion that will be required. And that conversion is essentially the concept that your revenue is in crores, right? And your square foot or area basically is in millions, right? So either I convert the revenue to millions by multiplying it with 10. So this becomes essentially a revenue in millions. And then I divide it by the million square foot thing. So I will get essentially revenue per square foot, right? So I can directly multiply the revenue by 10 and uh, get to this calculation. So let's do this. My revenue, which is in crore multiplied by 10. So now the revenue is in million divided by my total area in square foot. So that gives me this number. And I can also calculate what is my revenue per bill cut. So that's revenue divided by bills cut 8.5. Both of them are in crore. So it's a straight calculation. I can populate these numbers here. And you will note that revenue per store has gone up. Store size has gone up. Revenue per square foot has gone up. So it's not just a factor of the company increasing the store size. They are also selling more per square foot. And that's basically translating into a revenue per bill cut increase. So in a way, you can look at this entire contour and figure out what is the overall revenue driver for a company like Avenue Supermarts. And that's how you model it in any financial model.